What's up everyone? It's time once again for a weekly watch list. What this is, the exact levels I'm watching and how I'm going to trade them. So, let's just get right into this. First off, ticker SPY. Now, last week was tricky, so I want to talk just a second about that. Um, the levels, zones, wasn't quite respected the way you know they have been for the last year. Uh, we got big earnings. You know, big earnings season's a different type of beast to adapt here. So, you know, I do try to... Pr- I try to stay patient for the first 15 minutes or so of market open, but right now that's mandatory. No trades within the first 15 minutes of market open. I'm going to give it time to settle, and I'm going to be watching price action really closely. I've noticed that, you know, the trades went, you know, the way I wanted them to, but they was hunting my stop loss first last week. So I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be still watching these zones and these levels, but I'm going to wait on a clear you know, reversal sign on a lower time frame. So let's just get right into this. Most obvious level I see here is this. We come up, hit it, reject, hit it, reject. So what I'm looking for, I want to see is break above this, come back down, retest. That's where I want to get my long entry and my calls entry. You trade futures, you can trade ES based off these levels or even MES for, um, you know, if you want something a little less risk. You can trade SPY options or SP options as well. I know I say that every time, but you would, you'd be surprised how many times I uh, get questioned. Do you only trade options? No, I trade futures and I trade options. The bounce area that I have, 537.4. Um, it is current support. You can see it on the hourly and the four hour. Um, we're looking at the four hour here. You can really see these levels clear on the four hour. You know, people often ask me like, what time frames do you use to, you know, create your levels? It's typically the hourly or the four hour, occasionally the daily and weekly. You know, it depends how far back I have to go. But when I'm day trading, I'm definitely looking at the hourly and four hour more than any other. Now, if we lose this 437.4, the closest support is at 531.3. It's the most obvious. Like I said, when I'm creating these levels, I do not want to have to strain my eyes. If the levels are not clear, I'm not going to trade them. So these are our two bounce areas. Break above retest for calls. This is the only reject area I have. Um, We'll watch this very closely. I'm seeing good movement here. As you can see, nice movement here. Nice reject here. And that's what I like to see when finding my levels to trade. I don't want to see a place we've just chopped around. Um, I want to see, you know, we've been in this area recently. I want to see good price action there. All right. SPX. I have updated my levels for you all here. I just finished up creating these. These are the levels I'm going to be watching. I do take trades based off these levels, but I also help them guide my SPY trade levels I just gave you all. For instance, let's say we're right below this resistance, right? There's no way I'm going to buy calls until we get above because chances are we hit it. It comes down, stops you out, and, you know, for no reason. Just be patient. If you're going to try calls, at least let us, you know, get the uh, get the bids above that key level here on SPX before we uh, give it a go. Ideally, we wait on the retest, as I said before. Yeah, so be sure you have this chart up when you're trading SPY or ES. Really going to help you out. You know, works well for price targets. Once we get moving, we get a nice trend day, you know, we get our entry based off these levels. A lot of times you can take them to the next resistance or the next support. That being said, you should definitely be trimming along the way, but you get the idea. Up next, QQQ. And you can trade NQ futures or MNQ futures based off these levels. But right here, some higher time frame trades I'm watching. We have these big gaps on the daily to the upside. So once we get back up to this and turn this gap, that's where I'm looking to go long or buy calls. Same here. We got two nice gaps to watch. You know, maybe months before this trader. But once we get back up there, I'm going to be watching these closely for an entry. Could we see more downside? Yes. Do I know? I have no idea. All I do as far as day trading, I create my levels and zones and I trade them. Um, I've seen so many people get smoked this year trying to short for one. You know, they've been trying to short half the year and they, you know, blew their accounts. Uh, now we're, you know, we're finally having a nice sell off. And I don't want people to get into the mindset, oh, this is the end of the market. You know, we need to go short every day. Honestly, I don't see how that's going to work long term because if you zoom out, we've went up for the last, I don't know, a lot of years. We've been going up. And another, you know, we don't we don't always know what the market's going to do. All we can do 
is identify these key levels, the zones, and watch price action to confirm, right? That's all we can do as day traders, watch these levels. Yes, we can use indicators to give us a little edge, whatever your indicator may be. Ideally, when I'm looking at this, when I'm looking at trades, I'm trying to see like, you know, is there more aggressive buying here in this area? Some more aggressive selling. You know, let's take a look at these lower time frame candles. What are they telling me? And that's only when we're in my key zones or at my key levels. In between, I'm not taking the trade unless, unless it's just a very clear uptrend entry. So if we're uptrending, I have a video on my YouTube about this, but um, you know, if we're uptrending, I'm always looking to enter off a very obvious higher low, right? I don't want to be entering off the initial breakup to break out. I want to wait on that pullback on that higher low to take my entry to catch the uptrend. Just some simple tips like that's going to save you some time and money. If you have any questions about this watch list, feel free to reach out to me. I do not have any individuals on watch this week, but if I do find any setups, I'll let you all know during my Instagram live. I go live every single morning around 8 a.m. to about 8.45 a.m. Eastern time. Free education, free watch list every single morning. The market's open. So be there. And that's it. Hope you all crush it this week. Let's be patient. Follow a plan. No tilt. See you next time.